Hello, thank you for joining us. We're still in Philippians. As I said, we're going to be in Philippians 4, 4. And rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. I want to start at an interesting place as we progress through the week. One of the places I want to start is sometimes we get caught up and we get complacent, which means we get, okay, we get up, we go where we need to go, we do what we need to do, we come home, and the next day we get up, we do what we got to do, we come home, and the next day, you get the point, we're doing this day after day after day. And sometimes we start taking the little things for granted. Sometimes we just expect things to go just the way we think they're going to go. Just like they went yesterday. Then out of nowhere, something happens that shocks us back and go, go, wait a minute, it doesn't have to happen that way. Today I want to say, if you're having a time of complacency, a time when you're just kind of going through the motions, stop. Rejoice in the Lord. Stop. Rejoice that Jesus is real. Stop. Rejoice that Jesus is near. Stop. Rejoice that Jesus is the most exciting thing that has happened in our lives. At least he is for me. Rejoice in the Lord always. And he said, Paul said, again I say, rejoice. Let this happiness overflow from our heart into and through our lives. Rejoice in the Lord today. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.